Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about physical geography and some of the basics of physical geography. I hope that I have broken it up into something that's easily digestible. Now, physical geography is a spatial science. That is a key part of physical geography. And by spatial science, I mean how do things interact? Um, how does... Um, how does, you know, places, locations, areas interact with natural systems, processes, societal and cultural activities that occur on Earth's surface? Say we had migration patterns of um, early humans and, you know, they were going after prehistoric animals. Well, if those animals had also started a migration pattern to try and beat um, the humans, perhaps they caused erosion and perhaps they created a small turn in a river. How did this change our world as we see it today? How do these interactions, these relationships change the world? Now, there are five themes of geography and by themes I mean what can we break geography down into? I'm going to start, or start at the bottom of the list. Now, we have regions. These are areas that have things in common. So we have like the Great Lakes region, whereas where I'm from. And then we have, say, um, the Southwest region. How do these two regions compare? Um, we can compare their climates. We can play, compare um, the type of actual land that they have, what type of plants they have, what type of erosions they have that are different. Um, I can tell you that these two regions are very different because of the types of weather they get. Um, then we have movement. And this comes down to how does the earth move? How does that interact with how things are built? This comes down to a lot of plate tectonics. Um, then we have earth, human earth relationships. And that's like my example, you know, how do humans change the earth? We cause erosion, we do. But we also do other things. We put art on stones, our ancestors did that. And this art has lasted generations, why? That type of thing is what goes on in human earth relationships. We also have place and location, which kind of seem interchangeable, but that's because the layman terms. So let's look at the more scientific terms. Places have a physical location, have a spot where you can go, okay, I can get this on a map. Geographic coordinates on a map, I have those. You can get directions from one place to another place. You can get distance from one place to another place. Um, places have size, they have physical structure, they have cultural content. Places change over time. Places are like cities, they're areas. Places have names, okay? Locations on the other hand are geographic coordinates like our nice little uh, thumbtack here. They are actual mathematical coordinates that you can go to and these won't change. You can go back in a hundred years and that thumbtack will still be in the same spot. Be in the middle of the road, will the road still be there? Might not, but that spot will not have changed geographically. In the coordinates. That's the difference. <clears throat> now, let's talk about systems. I'm talking about how do things interact with each other because we have open systems and closed systems. Now, a closed system is where matter and energy don't exchange between the boundaries of the system. And an example of this is actually the Earth. And there's, some people will argue this. Um, 
But the Earth does not send out meteors, asteroids, into the cosmos. We don't do that. So we are a closed system. Um, we do have some energy that comes off of us, but it is mostly a reflection. We have things that come into our system. Um, we have the sun's energy, but otherwise we are a closed system. Um, but then we have open systems like lakes, the human body. This is where we have um, exchanges. So if I put in H2O to a human body, I get energy out or urine, depending. Um, if I put in fish to a lake, I am most likely going to get more fish out. Um, things like that is what we're going at. Um, that's the difference between those. All right, so what is the difference between latitude and longitude? I had a lot of trouble with this when I was younger. Um, so hopefully I explained this in a way you can remember. Latitude lines run from west to east, east to west, however you wanna say it. <laughs> um, they're called parallels and that's because they're parallel with the equator. And this is our equator, this little dashed line. But as you can see, each line that is horizontal to it, above it and below it, will never touch it. That's why they're called parallels. Then we have longitudinal lines. Um, and these are called meridians. Now we have the prime meridian, which is where zero degrees is. And that's right here. This is our dashed line. That's our prime meridian. And each of these goes from pole to pole. And then 180 degrees from the prime meridian is the international date line. Now if you're curious as to where the equator and the um, prime meridian touch, it is sometimes referred to as the armpit of Africa. It's right off the coast of Africa, um, right down here. It's called an armpit because that section of Africa kind of looks like the joint of an arm. So that is basically what you need to know about those two. But that brings us to geographic coordinates. Now, if you're reading geographic coordinates, one thing you're gonna notice is that north and south will always come first, then east and west. So in this example, the top line has degrees, minutes, seconds as the reading. I prefer this method. It breaks the numbers up and makes it easier to remember them. So we have 45 minutes, I mean 45 seconds, sorry. Wow, 45 degrees, 46 minutes, 22.79 seconds north. Then we have 87 degrees, five minutes, eight seconds, 8.38 seconds west. Sorry about that guys. <clears throat> Below it you have decimal degrees which some people prefer because you don't have to deal with putting in the minutes and seconds stuff. I don't like them. They're harder to remember. But you'd read it as 45 point and then I can't read that number so I just read it as 7731.89 degrees north. And then you would have 87.085732 degrees west. That's the difference between them. I like the top line better. It's easier to read. Um, and I highly suggest that if you're going to be doing anything. That's it for part one. If you would like some more intro to physical geography, please go to part two.